I'm with Hadassah Schwartz from the Government Press Office and we're talking about the Christian Media Summit. Hadassah, what is the Christian Media Summit? Hi Paul, it is great to be here today. So the Christian Media Summit is put together by the the government press office by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Jerusalem and Heritage. It is a summit which happens annually to bring together Christian journalists from around the world so we can show them and give them information about Israel. That way that when they go back and write and talk about Israel, they could have the relevant and up-to-date inf- information about what's going on here in Israel. How many nations do you have attending with the summit? So first of all, we're very excited. This is the first year that we're having it after Corona. It's it's finally face-to-face. We've had it virtually in the last two years. And now we're having, from all over the world, we have people coming. And so far, we have uh, almost 28 different countries uh, represented from different countries. And we're very excited about it. And what's the aim of the summit this year? The aim of the summit this year is to bring together Christian journalists and, and media personnel. And as I said before, since it's, it's the first time after Corona, we haven't seen each other. We haven't been together and discussed all these topics. And so much has happened around the world with Israel and about Israel. And it, it's just to give them information that they can go back and report in their countries. So who are the speakers and the guests at the Christian Media Summit? Uh, we're going to be having an, an extremely exciting schedule this year. We're going to be having Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister. Uh, we're going to go down south to visit Eshkol and Sderot. We will be visiting the Knesset and be talking with some MKs. We will have panels, lectures, you know, with various topics that are connected to Israel and the Christian world. Speakers specifically, we have uh, Bishop Stearns, we have Amir Avivi, we have Aviv Ezra from the MFA, we have Hanan and Naftali, we have a great line of speakers, which will be, and uh, this is exciting. Mm. It must be exciting for journalists to actually see the Prime Minister of Israel. Yes, 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 yes. This is uh, one of the highlights of the summit. And going down to areas of Starot, is it important for people to see how close Starot and these, these towns are to Gaza and how difficult and dangerous it is for those people that live there? Yes, it's extremely important to see firsthand on how uh, people live there on a day-to-day basis with the threat of rockets above their heads. We will be visiting Eshkol and we're going to have dinner with residents of the area and they're going to be sharing their experiences of how, how it is to live and have suddenly a siren and you have 30 seconds to run to a bomb shelter. And this is very important for, for journalists to understand that situation down there, isn't it? It's important for them to understand and to see firsthand and see what these people are going through on a day-to-day basis. Mm. Uh, now this is the sixth Christian Media Summit. How successful have others been? So we've seen, I mean, this is the sixth Christian Media Summit, and for years now, the virtual and the physical ones, it was amazing to see how so many Christian media from around the world want to come, want to learn, want to see, and it's been extremely successful. We've seen a lot of media items about this following the summit and before, and we're excited to see what's going to be after this one. Are Christians good advocates for the nation of Israel? I'm going to quote Prime Minister Netanyahu when he said it at the 2018 gala evening. He, and I'm going to quote, he said, we have no better friends than the Christians around the world. And we see this. We see this every day that when no one's standing up for Israel, we see our Christian friends around the world standing up and saying the truth. And it's, it means a lot. Mm. Uh, now, journalism can be quite poor when it comes to Israel. Is Christian journalism different? We do see that, in general, religious media has its own characteristics than regular, or I call it general, media. And that is why we have a specific person here at the GPO who is in charge of that. And with regards to these special characteristics at the religious media, we see that they report differently about Israel. Some of them go into more detail than to the general mainstream media that just reports about a story that's been here. And we do see that there's more information out there that they pick up and and stories about Israel that they pick up. And not only when it comes to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, but also things beyond that, Israel beyond the conflict, the full picture of Israel. What's it like for you seeing Christians and Jews together in the same room with the same cause to bless Israel? It's extremely moving. I mean, I've been doing this since 2017, and every single year when we stand there, I mean, we've done it twice virtually, but when we all stand together and we, we just share this, this beautiful cause, it's extremely moving. And to me personally, especially, I'm excited every single time. It's like having a friend standing next to you, isn't it? It's like having a, a friend who, who's just, who just knows 
who you are and what your personality is like and what makes you happy and helps you with that, yeah. Are you wanting Christian journalists who come to Israel for the summit to go back home and to be an advocate for the nation of Israel? Yes, yeah, so one of the goals of the summit is to have all these Christian journalists who come to Israel and be part of the summit. They go back and they are not only a, you know, a journalist, but they are also an advocate for the state of Israel. Mm. Uh, many Christians around the world do pray for Israel. What should they be praying for today for the nation of Israel? For its peace, for its success, and for its continuity, for, her, for good. Is there a blessing in standing up for the nation of Israel? I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. Of course, that's not, that's not me who said that. That's the Bible, you yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is your prayer for the nation of Israel and for this, this conference that's going to be taking place? I hope and I pray that those who are participating at the summit, the Christian journalists who are coming and are part of this, should go back to their countries and be a, an advocate for Israel and show the truth around the world, which is hard to find these days and be the right messenger to share the message. That's quite a responsibility for Christian journalists, isn't it? It's a responsibility, but they're up to the task. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Hadassah, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. It's great to be here.